Hey guys, today we're gonna make two easy pasta salads. We did two a couple weeks ago. They were really popular, so I figured let's make two more. First one is a Greek pasta salad. I have all the ingredients right here for that one. Let's get to that one first. All right, guys, we have a little, most of the ingredients over here. I've been boiling the pasta, the penne pasta. I'm gonna drain it right now, I'm gonna rinse it. I wanna get it cool. You don't need it to be warm to absorb the dressing or anything. The dressing is gonna absorb plenty fine, but you do wanna make it cool now so it doesn't get soft. I always like to go over the ingredients and you know, it's just a lot of chopping here. So we did about one English cucumber, so that's probably a couple cups. I took the seeds out. By taking the seeds out, you're not gonna get any mushiness in your salad overnight. You don't have to do that though. And especially if you're gonna eat it kind of like quickly, just go ahead and chop it. Tomatoes, we did one dry pint, which is 12 ounces, about a cup's worth of diced red onions, a half a cup to three quarter cup of Kalamata olives sliced. I have a half a pound of feta here. What I did was I just started with half of it, crumbled it up, and then, you know, the remaining bit, you could cut up like a nice chunk for each person. Did one yellow pepper that was diced. If you wanna make big strips of pepper, if you wanna do whole tomatoes, whole olives, just do whatever you like. Make it your own, like I always say. And then for the dressing, we have oil. It's gonna do about three quarter cup. And then we have red wine vinegar, which we're gonna do a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, and we're gonna do a quarter cup of lemon juice. So this is gonna be like kind of like your standard Greek dressing that you get in any good Greek diner, you know, in, in here in here in Long Island for me. It'll tip more towards lemon juice, and some places will just use lemon juice, but I kind of like the combo of the red wine vinegar and the lemon juice. A little Dijon mustard to help emulsify it, three teaspoons of oregano, okay, Greek oregano, but use any oregano you want. Two garlic cloves will grate in there. And then I have all of this dill, which is really nice, and that will go on the salad at the end. You could also put it in your dressing, but it'll kind of turn your dressing green. So let's make it right now. We got the pasta already cooling over there. Let's uh, whip up that dressing. All right, so three quarter cup olive oil. I'm gonna use regular olive oil. These squeeze bottles are awesome. I mean, for probably the first hundred videos, I had those horrible <laughs> leaking ones that I used. Quarter cup of red wine vinegar. We need a quarter cup of juice, which will probably take about two lemons. Well, maybe one, we'll see. Two teaspoons of Dijon. There's all that oregano. I have two cloves of garlic I'm gonna grate in here. Just be careful, you know, go easy with the garlic. It's really easy to ruin something, especially a dressing like this with, with the fresh raw garlic. Give this a taste. If it needs any salt and pepper, put it in now. All right, our dressing's perfect. So I'm just gonna put everything in here. No particular order, anything like that. Just get everything in. Actually, I'll hold off on those tomatoes so I don't crush them as I'm mixing it. I'm gonna put in most of the dressing, but you might not need it all. That looks really good like that. So I have all the beautiful dill here and just chop it up. I removed almost all the stems. You don't want your stems for your dill. You don't want your stems for your parsley either. It's, nobody wants a bite on a stem like that. Makes it really fresh. I'm gonna add the tomatoes. And then what I encourage you to do with the feta is, say you can put it in the fridge overnight, just don't put the feta on. It's just gonna be, it'll be like mush the next day. Before you serve it, then just toss it all in. It'll crumble, it'll all grab everything, and it'll be perfect for everybody. This looks absolutely beautiful. So this one, we're gonna use bow ties. We used bow ties for that spinach. Gorgonzola last time, bow ties are great. Bow ties are one of my favorite pasta to use just for pasta salad. I rarely use them to make a cooked pasta dish. I have a half a pound of mozzarella balls. If you can't find them, just get a 
half a pound block of block mozzarella or half a pound large fresh mozzarella. You can use either one. These are sun-dried tomatoes. It's about 12 ounces. I recommend you use a 12 ounce jar and then there's a ton of garlic on them. So normally as dressing, I'd use garlic. I'm not going to today because there's so much garlic on them. I took a bite before, delicious. And then the olives and then artichoke hearts. I'm using two cans of artichoke hearts. Now, this is an eight to 10 count artichoke heart here. And then these are four to seven or five to seven. So they're much larger. So what you can do is on the really large ones, you can quarter them. On the smaller ones, you can cut them in half. Not a big deal. Then for the dressing, we have a quarter cup Pecorino Romano, two teaspoons of oregano this time, just a touch of hot red pepper flakes, a quarter cup of lemon juice in this one again. So it's a very similar vinaigrette. The only difference really is we got a little less of oregano. We have more Pecorino. Red wine vinegar, so it's gonna be quarter quarter. And then the major difference is I'm taking the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. And it's just gonna blast the sun-dried tomato flavor more so than just using the sun-dried tomatoes. And then we're gonna use a little Dijon mustard. So let's just cut this stuff up. We'll make the dressing in the exact same jar we had and boil your pasta. All right, so we got the artichoke hearts. Hey, I'm using a different cutting board right now. Got this from Costco, two pack of these, good price. All right, so these are the monster artichokes right here. So we will cut these probably, I think, into quarters. That's still a nice chunk. And then these are the smaller ones. You could probably just cut them in half, but you could probably cut them into quarters too. Do whatever you want, guys. They'll have a lot of the water from the can in there, so you can try to just like pat them dry a little bit. This is more important to really pat them dry when you're doing when you're frying the artichoke hearts, which which we've done already. But don't worry if these fall apart a little bit. They're, you're getting all the artichoke flavor in in your pasta salad, regardless. Fresh mozzarella balls. I drained them. Okay. We're going to just cut these just like that. And then we have the messy sun-dried tomatoes. When they're packed in oil, they're messy. They're better though. They're way better than the ones that don't come in oil, in my opinion. This brand decided to put a ton of garlic on all of them. So I'm like, I can't use the garlic in, in the dressing now. It'll just be over the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut each one into about three pieces. I'm gonna put in three quarter cup or maybe a little bit more of the sun-dried tomato oil. Do a little bit of the Dijon again. Two teaspoons of dried oregano. Quarter cup of grated Pecorino Romano. Quarter teaspoon of hot red pepper flakes. Before I finish that, uh, drain your pasta. And then a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. And then the lemon juice again. Give it a little taste test. That's fantastic with the pecorino and the sun-dried tomato oil. It just tastes like a sun-dried tomato dressing. I hope you like sun-dried tomatoes. And the one more thing is I'm gonna put pepper in here as well. And a pinch of salt. Sun-dried tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, Kalamata or Galleta, I have Kalamata here. Put in most of that parsley. And then we'll put in about two thirds of that dressing to start again. See the other one over there, I just mixed it up. It just absorbs everything. So it's almost like you need a little bit more later on to rejuvenate it. If you do run out of your dressing, you don't need to make a whole new thing of dressing. Just mix up a little bit of oil and vinegar, put it right on. It'll get everything together again. A little pasta, a little sun-dried tomato. Mmm, that is so good. Yeah, I'm putting my fork in again because I'm the cook, you know? Let's get the taste tester right now. Got the taste tester number two today. I don't like taste tester number two. I like mother of the taste tester. Yeah. This is the feta one and you already tested these or you didn't test them yet? I definitely tested them. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is the Greek one, right? Yeah. The feta is really good. Yeah, that's good quality feta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buy good quality feta if you, if you can. This whole pasta salad is under under $10. Okay. Okay, and you wanna try the other one? Mm-hmm. I feel like I need a little palate cleanser in between the two. <laughs> yes, piece of ginger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta try too. Mm. The sun-dried tomatoes are good. Which one do you like better? I'm not the taste tester, but I gotta tell you guys, 
I, I just can't decide. Mm -hmm. These are both in my book. These are these are unbelievable for, for different reasons. The salty feta with just all the typical stuff you would have like in a Greek salad, just amazing. And then this one, the sun-dried tomatoes are so good. Which yeah. one do you like better? That's that's the more important question. I like them both, but I'm always going to be more biased, I think, towards the Greek one. The Greek one, right? Yeah, yeah. because I love dill. And I love the, the feta is real. Like I, I said it before, the feta is really good. And I feel like that makes a difference too. If you're buying like a really good quality feta. Where'd you get that from? Whole Foods or Meat Farms? That was from Meat Farms. For you guys who are in Long Island, and I know there's a ton of you that are, um, Meat Farms has some great deals. I that The, the fresh mozzarella balls, half pound was $3. And you know, normally in a supermarket, they're charging six or $7 for mm -hmm. them. Meat Farms had some good prices. That huge jar of uh, sun-dried tomatoes, too. If I was gonna make this, first of all, I think it would be great with some chicken souvlaki. Yes. Um, but one thing I would get to top it off, I, I wouldn't make it myself, because I don't know how to, but I would put grape leaves, stuffed grape leaves grape on leaves. top of that. And that's funny, I was gonna do- I think do, that would be so good. I was gonna do grape leaves, and if you buy a can of grape leaves in the store, they taste almost the same as the ones yeah, that the Greek restaurants are serving. I didn't touch on this one yet, but I really like this one too because I really love the artichoke hearts and the sun-dried tomato and the fresh mozzarella.